So welcome, people of God. So we are still spending time talking about a new reality. Like we're still spending time right here because I really need for this word to locate you and be locked in your heart. That is when you get the harvest. The parable of the sower in the book of Mark says it is the hearing and understanding of the word that is going to always yield a harvest. And so I want to talk about for me some performance in a new reality that I experienced. I had something that very painfully and very privately only a couple of people knew about it and even then probably not in its entirety that I was dealing with with the Lord. And I had really honestly exhausted myself of of what else could be done. Like what else could be done? I've I've rebuked, I've renounced, I've prayed, I've surrendered, I've I've done every single thing and I feel like I cannot get any lasting victory about this situation. And you all know that we had at the beginning of this year 17 declarations that the Lord gave for me and one of those was ease. And um ease has always been difficult for me to grasp because it's funny I said difficult because ease is the absence of difficulty and effort. Like like it's one thing for it to not be difficult but no effort like no effort I couldn't wrap my mind around that that thing challenged my humanity and it challenged my anointing like how do I not have effort like in in the Lord then me and the Lord had a moment of reasoning the Bible says God says come let us reason together why are you rebuking what you said is done why are you renouncing what you're saying is done Why are you frustrated and in your flesh about what you say is done? So I had a decision to make. Like like how Moses says, you you know, you, you have a choice, choose life or death. Like I could choose to still be putting in effort or I could put in ease. It is... It is Matthew. Oh, it's actually the parable of sower is in Matthew too. I just caught that. But it is in Matthew. Matthew 6, 24. Here we are on the 24th day of this month that says you cannot serve two masters. And even though the entirety of that scripture is talking about God and money, that's really the premise of how we live as believers. You can't serve the kingdom and the world. You can't. That's essentially what's going on there. You can't serve. You cannot serve the old and the new. So if the new says, I got victory, why are you still rebuking and renouncing and frustrated and crying and worried? The enemy would get me in such frustration and worry, and I would package it up like I was praying. All the binding, all the rebuking, all that stuff we do, that was effort. But I'm going to tell you, when I got quiet, when the devil was saying worst case scenario and I wouldn't open my mouth, when I wouldn't give in to torment, when I wouldn't give in to frustration, when I was literally walking out very privately being Daniel in the lion's den, and it wasn't no 24 hours, but when I tell you something I have been praying for, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Something I was praying for for five years, God brought me performance in four months when I started saying, it's done. It's, I'm not getting in no more frustration. I'm rebuked out about this thing. I, I, it's, I can't bind it no more. I can't renounce it no more. I can't surrender it no more. So all I did was talk the new. All I did was talk the new. That's all I did. Me and God, God had given me a word. This is what new looks like. That's what I talked. That's what I walked. That, that's the only thing I served was the new. We love Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. We, we, so, oh, we forget the former things. No, you haven't forgotten it because you're still rebuking it. You're still surrendering it. You're still renouncing it. You're still praying about it. I'm telling you that thing, this thing challenged my very anointing. Like when God taught, rest is occupancy. Rest means you got it. Rest don't mean you taking a break. I know that's what we preach. That sounds real good. But so really, honestly, I was resting like it's done. I'm not resting like I need a break. I'm resting because it's done. I'm walking. I'm talking. It's done. And it challenged me. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It challenged 
it challenged me. But on the other side of walking, what God said to me, I got performance. I got performance. I got performance, y'all. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, when it comes to a new reality, you cannot serve the old and the new. I kept trying to validate what was going on, what I saw. I just kept paying attention to it. I kept praying about it. I kept talking about it. I kept thinking about it. I kept worrying about it. But when I got clear on the new, oh, that's it. That's the essence of faith. Faith is the evidence of what you don't see. Like, that's faith. And we think we know that. No, faith is, I got it. I, I, got, I got the money. I got the money. I got the money. I got the restoration. I got it. 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 Yep. Yep. I got it. I got it. I got it. Money in the bank. Great. I got it. The house. I got it. Healing in my body. I got it. This is what Abraham is saying in the face of everybody who's saying, I'm pretty sure you're still Abram. Uh, father of many nations. But, bruh, I don't think so. That's what Paul says. Paul says our faith father believed in the God who could create new things out of nothing. Out of nothing. Do you, that's the new reality. That's your new reality. I, I know, I know, I know it challenges everything we think we believe and we know and how we've been praying and how we've been doing it. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I'm getting, ready, I'm getting ready to tip over a sacred cow right now. I'm, brace yourself. I do not believe that God has called us to live a life of warfare. And we need to be praying these long prayers. And it needs to be taking all this time and effort for us to get some break. I, I don't believe that. I, I don't believe that. I'm sorry. I don't believe that. I don't. And God proved that to me. He proved that to me in performance for something that I was huffing and puffing about for five years. And when I trusted God and the only thing that came out of my mouth was new, there you go. Four months? For something that the enemy has been telling me for five years wasn't going to never be over? Like, like, it's about five years and four months. Five years was how long I was huffing and puffing and warring. Four months... I, I, I got an ease. I'm telling y'all. I, I I had every time revelation came. Oh, this it. This it right here. I got it. Yep, I got it. This gonna be the thing. But when I find, I was like, listen, this thing been over. All this torment, all this torture, all of it has been a distraction and a lie. I'm not paying it no more attention. No. That was when I experienced a new reality. And again, again. It challenged my humanity. It challenged my anointing. It challenged me in every way possible. But God proved himself in his word. He did. He did. And he gave me performance. He gave me performance. And so I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you can't serve two masters. What, what are you paying attention to? What, 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 are you, what are you thinking about all the time? When this, when this video is over and hours, minutes, weeks later, and that old thing tries to show itself, what are you going to serve in that moment? That's What, what are you going to choose to serve? Who are you going to choose to ignore? Because forgetting the former things, it's, listen, it's, honey, I know I'm saying honey to men too. It was a minute by minute process. It wasn't just, oh, I forgot it. I'm good. No, no. In the midnight hour, when, it, when, when stuff would try to come up, I had to make a decision to forget it. I had to make a decision that, I know, I serve the new. I serve the new. That was my new reality. And it challenged me. It challenged me. It really did. But again, I will tell you, that you cannot serve two masters, Matthew 6 and 24. You have authority over all the work of the enemy. Nothing will hurt you. Live accordingly. I want you to live in some joy. We, we, we still, it's still July. We still celebrate and having joy. Have some joy about that thing. Have joy because you have victory. 